Hey everyone, thanks for joining in today. We are playing Gunfire Reborn, which is not a game that I've played on my channel before. And the reason being is because I didn't really have a, a machine that could really handle playing it smoothly. So I finally have a new computer that I got and I know that this computer should be able to handle this game and play it smoothly. So I'm jumping back into it now. Just a warning here, it's been a while since I played it, so it's, I'm probably going to be reading a lot of the weapon descriptions and the skill descriptions and things like that again because I need to re-familiarize my, re myself with some of the game's uh, weapons and mechanics and things like that. So just a fair warning, it's not a completely new playthrough, but I might it might seem like this is my first playthrough kind of thing. I won't tamper and dig around the menus too much. I know that there's like meta progression and all that. Actually, maybe it's a good idea to do the talent tree. Do I have a lot of currency? 39. How much do things cost? 40. Okay, well, screw that. Let's jump right into... Oh, I don't even have any of those unlocked. Yeah, so I did play this game a little bit on my old computer it was really really laggy and I also remember playing with the controller a lot so I might maybe I'll switch that at some point I don't not sure if I want to uh, right that is a sword which one do I want the bone dragon seems cool right I keep thinking E is for like interacts can I change that I really don't like that E is not interact. And then this one can be F. That just makes more sense to me. Like most games do that, I feel. <laughs> I'm stuck. Oh, wow. Well, this gun is kind of weird. I really don't remember using it that much. Middle, middle button is cancelled for that, which is not good. Oop. I'm going to use a normal gun, I think. Yeah, I like this gun way better. Low special ammo. Where's my ammo? Two out of four. I guess I'll just use my normal gun until I get some ammo. Oh! How about that? Okay, let's enter the vault. One second, though. We'll do this vault battle, which shouldn't be that hard anyways. All right, let's continue. Should I use this thing? How do I know if it's max charge? Whoa! Okay, for groups of enemies, it's definitely good. I just feel like with dual wield, it's going to be a weird situation. Okay, we're switching out. That wasn't so hard. It is only the first level, so how hard can it be? 15% elemental damage for each nearby enemy with elemental effect, up to 75%. Okay. I don't think I have elemental on any of my guns right now, which is fine. Yeah, they look normal. Uh, let's open up this stuff. Hopefully it's worth the ammo that I'm spending to break it open. There is the chance for me to switch to my regular weapon, or whatever you want to call it. Uh, my third weapon, which is my like default weapon with infinite ammo. But I'm not going to go through the trouble. The portal has been opened. Ooh, got some ammo. This gives me a level up. Explosion enhancement, AOE for grenades. Okay, ammo expert reco recovers fire preserve ammo per second. While dual wielding, doubles the amount of ammo recovery. Cool. Survival instinct. 
Okay, I'm gonna take gunfire probably. Or whatever you call that. Are all both of these the heck? Are both of these special ammo? They are. Okay. So I wanna replace one probably. Ooh. Get a headshot. Demonic Aura. Nirvana. All armies transformed to Horn Beetle. Right. Okay, let's try the first gun then. Maybe the beetle will just get sucked into that. Doesn't seem to be happening. Or maybe it is, I don't know. <laughs> I actually like this gun kind of, but I don't. I think it's like entertaining. Oh, it's not that hard to switch between the guns. Oh, I just threw a freaking grenade. Alright, let's switch back to this. Dash skill has three charges. Cool. What is the space keyboard bound to? Jump, right. I forgot there's a jump in here. Because I was going to say, maybe I'll just put dash on there. But jump definitely makes more sense. I don't know how often I'm jumping, but... What is that? A gun? Sweet. What is this? Uh, Z, compare. The, what the... What just happened? Large ammo for the wheel saw. If all projectiles slash attacks in a shot weapon skill hit the enemy, the next weapon skill will be enhanced. Dual weapon damage. Deal weapon damage to the area while reloading. What? Okay, I'm going to replace my dragon head gun with it. What's this? Pray randomly. <laughs> what? Randomly just say prayers. Close eyes and pray. Okay. So this is for money. Pray sincerely. You lose a lot of HP, but you get a lot of money. Let's do it. Can I chat with you again? No, I can't. Okay, I don't remember those chests, to be honest with you. Let's try out this gun. I'm not doing well with it. Zzz. I kind of like it though. No, I gotta use this thing. I think the saw thing will be better for dual wield though because it's not... You don't have like a charge weapon and then you have a normal shooting weapon like semi-automatic. Oh! <laughs> Oh my god. Um I just killed myself. I I don't want to use that much currency to revive on the first level. <laughs> I just shot myself in the face. Oh god, get me out of here. Well, that was an embarrassing first run. Yes, I understand. You just offered me that. We're going back in. Let's not be as ridiculously careless this time big money big money justice i think i remember that lizard actually frenzied shark fires bouncing grenades in a small area or thunderclap manually detonated okay i'm gonna take the frenzied shark because it seems like the easiest weapon to try and use Yeah, it looks good. I'm happy with it. I think I had better guns last time. I want my shotgun back. What? Yeah. Yeah, I used to play this with the controller. I don't know why. I think it's because, like, there's a point in time in my life where all I did was play first-person shooters. Can I pick this up, please? 
Um, ooh. A lot of the time it was like Call of Duty or Battlefield. And I always did console gaming for those. So maybe it was just because like those glory days of when I just played FPS. It was all console gaming for Call of Duty and Battlefield. But I don't even know where I'm going with this. <laughs> I guess I should try playing with mouse and keyboard. It's just some FPS games, there's like too many buttons to press and I screw up on the keyboard a lot. So I'll, I'll lose my placement on the keyboard. And then on the controller, I you don't really have that problem because everything's like right there and you don't really move around on your controller, right? So I think that's why I like the controller sometimes. But so far, so good for this game. Dual wielding, plus 100% Weapon damage, but 100% ammo consumption. Jesus. But there's 50% chance to double... I'm reading the additional ones down here. Um, but there's additional 50% chance to double ammo consumption uh, with no additional ammo con consumption at the end on level 3. Okay. During dual wield, recover 30% max speed when taking first two lethal damage. What? Okay. Explosion damage plus five dealt for each enemy within the explosion range. We do have some explosion weapons right now. Do we want to try that? I guess I can try. Actually, I'm not using the bomb thing. I, I like my crossbow. During. Okay, screw it. We're doing twin gunner, I guess. And then we haven't gone through here, have we? All right, switch to our crossbow. It's called the woodpecker. Yeah! I should be using my grenades more. I like this. Oh, what the heck? I like that weapon. This weapon. All right, what you got for me? Something good. Improved clip. Whenever an ammo pack is picked up, it directly refills a magazine instead of reserve ammo. Increases your movement speed by 25% until next reload. Woo -hoo -hoo! That sounds pretty cool. Alright, let's switch back to the woodpecker. Oh. Here. Alright. Sage 2. Shouldn't be too hard. Let's break those things, why not? Oh, baby. Yeah, most guns in this game don't have sights. Sights. So that's why I like this thing right here. This is more what I'm used to, you know? Aiming down the sights. Is it even worth it to go through all these things, or am I picking up enough ammo? I'm probably picking up enough ammo not to worry about every single little um, jar. Oh, he's gonna hit me. Never mind, he did not. How about I hit him in the head? Come on, baby. Anything else? I guess I do actually need ammo. I'm at like. 44 ammo for my whatever ammo I'm using right now. Alright, whatever. What do you got? 40% movement speed at, for 3 seconds after using a dash. I love it. Alright, that was worth it. That was a barrel that killed me last time. Shooting from hip with this thing is a lot more inaccurate. I like this weapon. What are you? You are an aura of venom. Let's compare you to things that we have. I will probably replace the frenzied shark. Rapid fire all rapid fire all remaining ammo and magazine. Is that right click? Okay, let's try it out. 
Oh, it is right click. I like it. Let's try it out. I'm not sure if I like it. I'll probably keep it for um, dual wield. I feel like it's making me die a lot quicker because I'm not killing things as effectively. Oh, shields are broken. Yeah, 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 we know the deal. Overloading. Okay, reload time is faster. Weapon damage four seconds after reloading. Cool. Rate of fire and accuracy while dual wielding. When dual wield ends, negative one second next dual wield cooldown down for one second of remaining duration. Oh, you can end it early? I don't know if I'm reading that correctly. Increase 30% total damage if grenades or explosive weapons deal damage um, to only one enemy. Oh. I'm going to get overloading. That's cool. Thanks, guys. Oh god. I'll suck on something. Two waves of monsters incoming. Bring it. Oh, not this guy though. Dang it. Where's the rest of them? Oh, little beetles. I'm ready. Yeah, this game is like, it's just really fun because it's nice and satisfying to just kill all these little noobs over here. I know it gets way harder. There's, I can't remember if it got too difficult plus my old computer wasn't keeping up with, uh, like keeping up with the frames and stuff and that made it even more difficult, but I know the other maps are a lot harder than this. But this is only the first map, so of course it should be. Let's throw a grenade that way. Did that do any damage? Did anyone get hit by that grenade, or was that just a waste? The portal has opened. Let's check out this gun first of all. This looks nice. It's a wild hunt. It's that thing that I really like. Oh, no, no, no. You're not replacing that. Oh, my God. You're replacing this guy. So we have a wild hunt now. Let's break some of these canisters open. Actually, I'll open this thing. Get a point over here. How come they don't give me level two of things? After killing an enemy or destroying an item, negative 20 damage taken and plus one HP per second for six seconds. I'm not dying a lot, so I'm not sure if I need that. I'm not sure if I need that. During dual wield, recover. Hmm. I guess I'll take Adrenal Rush. Actually, this is better for bosses. This is better for in-between. I'm not really doing explosions, so I don't really like that. Uh, I guess I'll take the Golden Cotton back. Because if I'm dying in-between bosses too, I can just activate it as a way to get health back kind of thing oh baby so now i got like a close range and long range weapon okay i'm dying i'm dying ah it would be really helpful to have taken that other passive skill right now Really? I thought this had two shots. I guess it does. Bring it! Alright, now I have less HP than I want to have. Okay, let's see if anything good is in here. 
This is Brutal Gloves, wep 35% weapon skill damage on non-crit hits. Love it. I don't think I have any skills. What skills do I have? I have no skills. Let's use the woodpecker. Am I at the boss? No, I'm not. <laughs> that sucked. What the hell is that? Oh, that is not an enemy. <laughs> craftsman. A highly skilled craftsman, they can enhance weapons or reforge weapons Gemini inscriptions. It's those two things I'm guessing over here. Um, honestly, I don't really care to enhance either of these weapons because I'm sure I'll replace them at some point. Or does it make sense to? I have a lot of cash. Ooh, healing. Uh, screw it, I'm just gonna go. What does a grenade do? Barely does any damage. All right, let's go, let's go. Oh, oh, no more ammo. Give me ammo. What is that? Oh. He's, he has a huge shield. How do I get this guy again? Grenades? Grenades hurt him a little bit. Let's try to get behind him, I guess. This shotgun is not doing as well as I remember it does. They really have to be pretty close to me. Oh! No! What is wrong with me? How come I can't make it through this thing? Alright, we're playing again. Maybe we need to be someone else. Let's be, let's be another dude. Or we can do some talents. Uh, how do I switch character again? You just click on them, that makes sense. Why are you locked? Talent reaches level 40. Yeah, I really haven't gotten too far, have I? Whoa, some of these guys look cool. Requires 400 of that soul thing. Oh man, that's a lot. Visitors of Spirit Realm. So I think that's an expansion pack that I don't have. Must be. Well, we're going to try to make it through the normal content before I go down that route. So you have an energy orb, dual wield, and explosive grenade. Oh, those are skills. Oh, okay. So his grenade is a skill. You have a smoke grenade. I actually remember not liking this guy. What does this do? How do I activate it? Ascension. Okay, maybe we will play as him again. <laughs> How come he has one active? Can I see your skill tree? Ugh, okay, whatever. Let's go to talents. Ah, okay, so it's over here. So how come I don't have this? Ammo capacity plus 15%. Is that worth 25? Plus max HP. I don't know if I even want that. Ooh. Okay, I have that one already. Carry two weapons with the same Gemini inscription. Okay. Increases time until death when you are knocked down in multiplayer. I don't need that. Take less damage. Hey, we might need a little bit of that. Timely support. Reduces the time it takes to revive a player in multiplayer. Don't need that. Lower the cooldown of dash and primary skills. Very cool. Could be useful. Reduce reload time when using launchers. Cause increases crit multiplier when using sniper rifles. Increases movement speed while using melee weapons. Ooh, cool. Increases projectile speed when using pistols. 
Increase the number of projectiles when using shotguns. Increases the weapon damage when using rifles. Increases magazine capacity when using submachine guns. And increases lucky shot chance when using injectors. What? Okay. Unexpected luck. What are lucky shots? Start your adventure with some copper. Peddlers have chance to sell scrolls. Purchase goods with lower prices at the peddler. Copper has a chance to be doubled when obtained. Whoa. Okay, cool. What is this guy? New look. You can change the items displayed by the peddler. Like a reroll? Peddlers offer more items for sale. Okay, cool. I don't even know what I want to increase. Uh, maybe dash and primary would be good. Maybe I'll actually start using my primary. Or I can just start using some of this. Sniper rifles, launchers, melee. Pistols, shotguns, rifles, submachine guns. Okay. And I don't know what I'm doing. Maybe I'll just do that one. Actually, does this cost less? Because this is increasing my talent level and I could unlock someone if I unlock enough talents. Oh, wait a minute. These are global. Oh, I didn't know that. Whatever, we're just doing that. Alright, my dude, I know I said I wouldn't play as you again, but I am. Just because I don't really like the raccoon guy or whatever he is. Alright, here we go again. What is this? Lightning Blast. Launches a force field sphere. Any projectiles going through the sphere grants, blah, 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 blah. I don't really want that. Or a venom I didn't like. Oh, God. Same weapon that we started with last time. I think. Alright, let's do this. Let's try to make it to the boss. I mean, come on. I should be able to make it to the first boss. I have in the past. Large ammo is dropping down to dangerous levels. This gun sucks. Someone needs to give me another one. Can guns be found in pots? Probably not. Cool. Cool. Oh. Open it up. Give me a really good one. Corrosion damage plus 25% and immune to the negative effects of decay effect. The additive effect is doubled while in decay effect. Wait, what? Corrosion damage... Immune to the decay effect. Okay, whatever. It seems like if I have corrosion and decay on an enemy, it, it's a good thing. Or it's an even better thing now. Sure. I don't have any of that stuff happening right now, so who cares? Oh boy, I hate this weapon. Yay! A new weapon. It is a wheel saw. We already had one of these. Huh. What does this do? Is it wasting ammo? Is it just a melee thing? Oh, cool. Shoot it. Ah. Okay, so it just does damage in front of you while you're reloading. Okay, we can do that. Recovers 5 ammo. Grits you 25% 20 chance not to consume ammo upon shooting. I kind of like the not using ammo while shooting. Like, the reserve ammo is just, like, a nice to have, but the not... The chance to not consume an ammo is really nice because I assume that your clip is used 
not as fast because it's reserving that ammo. I'm going to take that. Let's waste some ammo to check it out. All right. It should happen at least once. It's not happening. I, I assume that I would have s some shots here not consuming the ammo in the clip, but it is. Um, that sucks. I guess I misread that skill. Like, is it not consuming the ammo and it's added back to the reserve ammo or something weird? I don't know. Super weird. Super, super weird. Yeah, I have really bad guns right now. Let's try this out. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. Sweet. Alright, how do I turn this off? I don't want to use it anymore. I want to get an amazing occult scroll. Get a curse scroll. Gain a Wenda, a random legendary scroll. Okay. I want to make my weapon more powerful. Get a curse scroll and upgrade the weapons level by plus three. Holy moly. I don't really like my weapons, so who cares? I want an amazing inscription. Get a curse scroll. Replace random non-exclusive inscription of the selected weapon with exclusive inscription. I'm going to get a legendary scroll. I can't remember what the curse scrolls do, but we'll see. Every time your skill deals damage, it will inflict additional skill damage based on how much copper you currently own. Okay. Does my dual wield count as a skill? Either way. Um, let me see what that curse is doing. Weapon upgrades cost much more. Oh, that's, that's fine. That's totally fine. I will take that any day. Okay, get me out of here. Peace. Oh, okay. You wish you were as cool as me. Oh, baby. Ouch. Yeah, these guns suck. Please move. Oh. <laughs> okay, I suck. Oh my god, I'm such a noob right now. Okay, I promise you, I promise you, this next one. This next one's gonna be it. I promise you. Can I just go? We're not effing around anymore, okay? What is this? A rainbow. Launch a mark, the ray will lock onto the mark. That doesn't sound that good. I know what that does. Hey, look at this. Okay, so it's just a straight line shot. Bullets spread horizontally and knock close enemies back on hit. If enemies hit any barrier on their way back, they will receive additional damage. Nice. You know I love some knockback damage. Oh, or I, oh, a sword. I don't think I like swords. I definitely don't want it for dual wield. A little bit hard to use, to be honest. Where the heck did that guy go? <laughs> Just clipped him on the legs. Alright, let's keep going over here. I love it. I actually don't like this gun very much. But, I will continue using it. Let's go to the portal. Enter the vault. Uh, it's going to be bad for these beetles. Or maybe it won't be. I don't know. Does this thing pierce through them? I th think that it might.
Let's see. Yeah, I think that it does pierce through enemies. Oh. Get owned. Alright, let's go. Big money. Lightning shard. Lightning damage plus 25 and immune to the negative effects of shock effect. The additive effect is doubled while in shock. Okay. Well, I don't have any lightning stuff, do I? Oh, this is lightning damage. Should we try it out? Let's go, baby. <laughs> Look how cool I am. I, I just really don't like the idea of melee weapons in this game, but maybe I should give it a chance. How far is the range on that? Let's check. Not that far. Okay, it can go that far. Let's see if our normal slash has the same range. It's a little bit shorter from the sounds of it, or looks of it. This thing's doing a ton of damage though. I just don't want to walk in front of my my enemies that close. It just isn't something I want to do. Alright, all of these are explosions. Toss two grenades instead of one with no additional consumption. Out of all of these, I will take that. Do I really care that about that though? Explosive grenade base damage plus 100%. There's a 30% chance of not consuming a grenade. That actually sounds a lot better. Guess I'm using grenades this time. Okay, let's just get out of here. Here, have a grenade. Ooh, it actually does a lot of damage. And we get a ton of them, so who cares? Yep, I knew I would get a grenade. Alright, let's go. Is this just a... Find the treasure one? Yep. I remember these. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, this one I remember getting hit a lot. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh! Well, I took some damage, but that's okay. Dash has three charges. Very fitting for the challenge that I just did. Oh yeah, new gun. I'm excited. Oh, it's a lizard! F. Okay, replace my sword because I actually don't like it. <laughs> the sound it makes is just killing me. I have to manually detonate? I'd like it... Actually, I guess that's fine. It's a style of weapon, right? I was gonna say, maybe it would be... Maybe I'd like it if it had a automated detonation as well after like... 5 seconds? But there's probably people out there that don't want that at all. Okay, I... I'm not enjoying this weapon. At least I don't think I am. It's just really silly. So we're going to try to replace him. Alright, big money. Oh! Okay, after killing an enemy or destroying an item, weapon damage and explosion damage for 50%. Ah. Overloading is generally really good though. Sustained fire is better for like in between bosses. Oh, actually, destroying an item. Okay, I'll take the sustained fire. So on the boss fight, just remember to destroy the little vases and stuff on the side. Okay, I'm not hitting anything. S 
selfless whatever it said dedication oh wow scorching rounds i think i'll take you instead do you do anything special doesn't look like it oh baby finally a normal gun <laughs> Here, let's try this thing again Yeah, this thing's fine too. Headshot. Oh, I can't hit him. There you go. What is that? Hey, buddy. What is this? Berserker scroll. What do you do? You're a peddler. Oh, baby, Gatling gun. I kind of like the idea of a Gatling gun. Don't need that. Do I buy this? Here, yeah, let's compare it. So it's an increase compared to... Oh, wait. No, I guess not. Uh, okay, I'll just forget about it. Probably better to save my money for something else. Okay, you are a craftsman, which I don't need. And this is a thing. Um, how much money do I have? Sure, let's do this. Corrosion damage again. Yeah, what? What the frick? Did that have a bomb in it? Okay, let's heal our HP and then go into this battle. Fine enough. Hey, this is where I died the one time. Let's be patient here. Yeah, you got me last time, didn't you? You think you're so cool. Let's go. Are you easier to kill like this? Oh. What? <sighs> A little beetle ate me. Oh no, it's this fire, fire spout that got me. <sighs> well, that sucked. That really, really wasn't good. <laughs> okay. We're going to have to try that again. I, I might do a couple of practice rounds off the stream just so that you don't have to watch me do the same thing over and over and die on, like, stage two. Or not even stage two, like, the first stage, but the second node of it or whatever anyways yeah i'll probably do some practicing to see if i do better with the controller and stuff like that too we'll see what happens but i hope to jump back into gunfire reborn more with you guys with some actual good runs this is definitely just a practice run that you just saw but if you enjoyed watching me struggle here, please leave a like. Uh, subscribe to see more. I will be playing more of this game for sure. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this game. Do you think I should keep playing it? Do you think that there's other games out there that are similar that are better? Should I get the expansion pack right now? Should I wait until later? Anything that you guys are thinking of, please let me know in the comments. But anyways, thanks again for joining in today. Hope to see you again soon. See you again. Peace. Mm hmm?